Hello everyone! Today I have my second island build of the week. The last build was a island bar slash, slash beach. And this build is a modern island apartment building. Now, really what I wanted to do with this was create a few apartments with a modern theme that was built to blend in with the island. I did this because in this world I'm working on building, I wanted to put more vacation homes in Sulani. And to do that, I had to get rid of some of the island dwellers, <laughs> you know, residences. So in order to keep the world so that there's actually people in it and it makes sense, I decided to start building some, you know, apartments, you know, multi-family dwellings, if you want to put it that way. I've done one other one. It was in Island Hut Village. I'll link to that here above. You can check out that video. I did that a while ago. I mean, not too long ago because it was after the four rent pack. But I really just wanted to build these air these you know, multi-family dwellings so that the world has people in it when you go to vacation. And I thought this was the best way to do it. I'll be honest, if you're somebody who is like, the rent for rent pack is really buggy, you know, it doesn't work well, I would get it just to be able to do something like this, where you can make some of these worlds, you know, vacation type worlds but still have areas where you can throw a bunch of people in so that it's still populated and you have awesome vacation homes so that's kind of where this came from and of course we can't do rental lots or you know residential rental lots on any type of waterfront property at least without a mod and I didn't want to deal with that mostly because I mean I'll probably play in this at some point because this was a lot of fun to build and I just want to see like the experience with it as of recording this I haven't play tested it really well yet I ran a couple things through so if you do see some minor changes that's why maybe something didn't work but just from my own gaming experience, everything should work. I think there's only a couple things that I'm like, might not, but it should. I don't see anything major being an issue. So, as I said, you know, this is something I'm kind of working on, is building this world out. In my last video, if you missed it or are new to my channel, I mentioned that I am more than willing when this world is built to upload it somewhere. That you can download it. I've just never done that before and haven't really looked into how that all works. I know there's places to do it. So if that's something you would like to see, comment below and just let me know. So. As you can see, I switched this around and it was just to make building it a little bit easier. This lot does jump. I, As I said, I really haven't play tested it too much. Just kind of a quick, you know, they can run here, run there type thing. I didn't have any problems doing that, but I, I don't think this lot will jump much. It's just because of the hill on the other side of it but I flipped it around 
just to do make building it easier, seeing in the front of it easier. Uh, I do flip that back so that the front actually is where you end up. At the same time, this really would go either way. So if you would rather have the, you know, windows on the one side facing out, you know, you can do that. But the one thing I like with this lot is all sides have a decent view, even the mountainside. Though you're staring at a mountain, it's pretty. It's got lots of plants. It's pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I kind of act like these builds are real. And, you know, the Sims actually care about the view. I, I don't know if that affects anything. It should. If that's not out there somewhere, it needs to be. Like, as a mod or, you know, in-game. All right, so I decided to, with these apartments, your bathrooms, your kitchen are all pretty much the same layout, same finishes, same everything. I literally copied and pasted all of it <laughs> because it's an apartment building and it's a modern apartment building. We're going to say it was just built. It does look like a little bit of a monstrosity from the map, but it works. I like it. We're going to say developers came in and said, this is what we're doing. But I, I tried to blend it into the world a little bit, along with keeping that modern look. I did look up modern apartments in like Hawaii as you know kind of a reference point so i based it off of a couple of those to an extent but i really didn't you know intend for this to be a hut style build at all it's definitely a modern so you know a developer did it everything matches the kitchens are all the same the bathrooms are all the same the only difference is you know your furnishings and I even went so far as to all the paint in the apartments is the same, except for like the kids' rooms or, you know, if they felt like painting it. <laughs> that, that That's kind of what my mindset was with this. So I will say the bathrooms have some extra clutter that is not different. I didn't go through and change all of that. Honestly, it was more of a time thing. I've realized halfway through this build that I was done with my throwback videos and I had to start recording more. And I I have a couple that are smaller. So you're going to see some shorter builds here in the next couple weeks. I'm still trying to figure out my scheduling <laughs> and how I'm going to do things. I might be dropping off to one video a week over the summer, depending. I I might have overtime at work. If that happens, it will be one video a week. If I don't, I might try to go ahead and do a Let's Play. I've been wanting to, but... I also am trying to start another YouTube channel that's based on, like, history. And that takes a lot of time as well. And, yes, I'm crazy. So, and on top of that, my friend decided she wants to start a podcast. <laughs> so, we'll see if that, that pans out. I, I think she just had a moment. Yeah, we, we have a bunch of friends that are have decided they're content creators because they post on Facebook. And, yeah. Which, if you do it right, yes, you are. But that's not what these guys are doing. So, anyway. So I think that's where that came from. But if it happens, I will let you guys know. Um, haven't quite figured out what we're going to do with it yet, but... If she keeps pushing it, we might try it. So, anyway, 
Again, going with this modern look, I ended up using the Home Chef Hustle kitchen because it's it's just the perfect modern kitchen. I have no idea what this will be replaced with if you don't have it. I recommend that is a pack if you can get it. I mean, even pay full price for it, it's worth it. It's a good pack. And not just because of the counters. Actually, like, originally, I wasn't the biggest fan of the counters. But doing more modern builds, it definitely, they're, they're perfect. So, you can see here that I played with the wall in the hallway a little bit. I'm going to be playing with the hallway a lot during this build. Eventually, they all end up the same. Yeah. <laughs> Just a heads up. Yeah, I could not figure that out. I was like, oh, I like this angle. And then I realized it's not going to work in all of the all of the layouts I had. So the nice thing is it ended up making the layouts very similar instead of as different as they were. And really, I designed the entryways to fit with whatever this outdoor, you know, public space would be. Oh, but I didn't originally plan on, uh, I can't even think. I apologize. I have like somebody pounding upstairs. I live in an apartment. I don't know what's going on, but that was kind of annoying and distracting. <laughs> But I'm not going to stop recording. So <laughs> hopefully you guys couldn't hear that. I, It was, you know, it wasn't real loud. So hopefully you guys didn't catch that. You may have caught a cat meowing earlier. But so far she hasn't shown up on my recording. So maybe not. So here I decided that I wanted a hallway into the master bedroom. And so then I put a closet in. Because I had nothing else to put in that area. I thought about making like a little desk area back there. I didn't. But that would be an idea if you don't own whatever pack comes with that big closet. I just blanked. Is you could put a desk area back there along with the dining room. Because that's the dining room area. That would work. If you don't want just a big weird space there. You could also change the bathroom up if you wanted to. But that'd be up to you. So here you can see I'm just copying the kitchen. And that is one great way if you're building these apartments. Is to just wall in you know, the kitchen if it's not walled in already. You know, and copy and paste it into everything. Because most of the time apartments have the same kitchens. Sometimes they're different if they're, you know, one bedroom, two bedroom. But this one, I just made them all the same. It worked. The other thing with this is I did not furnish three of the apartments. Honestly, it's just the build was, you know, getting to be a lot. And it was just, you know. I... I was I was running low on ideas. <laughs> I think is really what it was. Yeah. I also, you know, part of the reason too is I am trying to leave some things for you guys to do. Now, that being said, if you want to furnish this whole thing yourself, I did debate and I do have a shell. It is not the finished product. I saved it before I started decorating. But I think if you download it without furniture, you can easily just decorate it yourself. So if you didn't know that, there's a hint. Just, you know, download it and say no furniture. So anyway, back to what I'm doing on screen here. Here I decided, again, when I said this thing looks like a little bit of a monstrosity from the map, I kept thinking of why 
and what I could do to change it. Now, originally, this was going to be a five apartment build. The sixth apartment here on this floor came about because it looked like a big brick from the map. So I thought, well, let's add a little bit of depth and put another apartment. And then I looked over at this section and went, let's put something on the roof. So I thought, what do I want on the roof? Because I already knew what I was doing down below. So I put in a rooftop garden, a grilling area for those who live on the top floor or the next floor down and don't want to walk all the way down to the bottom where I eventually put in a grilling area. And then this little outdoor seating area too with a fireplace. I just thought something kind of fun, more grown up hangout than kids. Um, this top apartment, I pictured three like bachelors in or three men in. And that is how I decorate it later on because I do decorate that one. And so I thought, you know what? They'd want this outdoor area to be like gardening and that type of thing. Because I'm going to say one of them's a gardener, okay? But, you know, more of an adult hangout is really what, <laughs> what I was thinking with that. So, this is what I created. I like it. I would come up here and, you know, chill out, even though I'm not extremely social. I need to be. I need to go out and make some friends. I'm just saying. <laughs> For those of you who don't know... I moved from Michigan to Nashville, Tennessee in 2020 for multiple reasons. One is for family, and the other was I got a better job. So I really haven't gone out to meet people yet. So that is something that I'm hoping to do here soon. Uh, but I keep giving myself other things to do. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so down here, I wanted to create, of course, a pool area because, you know, this is Sulani. It is not a waterfront lot. So I can put a pool here and we can all be happy. So I put in this, like, you know, nice little pool area. I play around with it a little bit throughout the whole build. And I... I knew, like, most of what I wanted to put in here. I just wasn't sure how I wanted to put it in exactly. I knew I wanted the pool to kind of overlook things. And then I put, you know, this hot tub right in the middle. <laughs> okay, not in the middle of the pool, but, you know, in the middle of your view. And uh, it works. I like it. I thought about putting something over the hot tub. And decided no. The other thing I did put in a playground area for the kids. Because there's kids in these apartments. I did not design them for, you know, single people. There's three bedrooms and two bedrooms. We have no one bedrooms. I did debate on that top one to make it like a big studio or something. Or a one bedroom. But I decided not to. And... That's really, again, because I wanted this to be, let's get as many people into this lot as I possibly can. I did debate about doing both sides as three bedrooms, but decided against that. And I think it turned out pretty good for both of them. I'm, I'm happy. I also wanted to make this a very, like, community space here. So we have this fire pit and seating area. We have a lot of like lounge things here. You will see that I get this all built out. I make it all pretty. And then I'm like, oh, well, we need a splash plaid for the toddlers I'm going to put in here. And then I get this all figured out. And later on, I realized I forgot to put a grilling area in here. And I wanted that too. Now, that being said, 
When I decorate one of these other apartments, you're going to see that I put a girl on their balcony because they're the ones who have the toddlers. <laughs> and I am playing in a game right now where there's two toddlers and I had an infant and a toddler and you can't do anything. So I'm like, they're going to have a girl. <laughs> So if you wonder why one apartment has a growl and the rest of them don't, they have the toddlers. <laughs> okay. The toddler beds and everything. But yeah, that that's why. But yeah, I also designed it so they could go out there if they wanted to. I also put the toddlers on the main floor so that you can send them to the splash pad to play if you would like to. Now, there isn't any toddler, like, playscapes in this build. If you want to add them, there is a little bit of room. I wish we had a smaller, like, playground area for them. Because the one that comes with, I think it's maybe the toddler stuff pack. I can't remember which pack it's in. Is really big. And I had other children in mind to be in this build. So, since I wanted to design it so it could hold some families, I put in the pirate ship instead. And there's nothing for the toddlers. So, so yeah. Add it in, take out the pirate ship if you decide you want mostly toddlers in here. Or there is, I mean, the outdoor, like, deck areas that lead up to the apartments. I didn't put anything in those, really. Okay, I did. I did put a couple things. I have the mailboxes in the bottom one. And there's garbage cans on the main level and then the third level. I put garbage cans, recycle bins. But you could probably put the slide out there and any, you know, any other little, like, fun thing for them. I mean, that would work. So, I mean, there, there are areas you could do it. And I did create, like, this little, you know, there's an art area, play area. This is like a... I don't know, gathering space for indoors when the weather's bad if you have seasons. <laughs> That's kind of what this was planned for. And, you know, of course, the gym that I put in that I completely skipped over as I was gabbing because, I don't know, I just kind of talk during these and don't always follow what I'm doing. If that annoys you, let me know. I'll try to stay more on track. It's these longer videos. I I just figure I'm going to sit down and talk because they're like an hour long. And there's no way I can sit there and describe what I'm doing every moment of the video. The shorter ones, yes, but I still tend to ramble with those too. So, as I said, this was kind of just a nice little gathering space for, you know, your Sims to enjoy when it's raining it doesn't really snow in Solani but you know cold weather they don't want to be outside so that was kind of the point for that I also do jump around a little bit as you can see as I find things and I'm like oh I should put that out there and I should put that here and yeah my normal if you haven't watched my videos before that that's my normal I jump around a little bit but, you know, that's how I build. Then I also wanted to make it look like you could do games in here. So I have a few little games. I think those are from Growing Together. And, you know, kind of made it, made it like a, a fun little community space. And I also tried to fill the shelves so that your Sims won't put dishes from the grill on them. Because we all know that happens. So you can see here, I finally realized I forgot to put the grills in. Um, I was going to do like a more extravagant grilling space down here. 
but I decided against that. So I just put in a simple, you know, picnic table and a grill. I didn't go too crazy. I, I don't know. I'm debating about making like a cool little like grill setup room. Might be like something I'll put on Instagram, not on, you know, a YouTube video or maybe a short. But just to download into random places because I don't know. It seems like sometimes I just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> so it'd be nice to have one or two that I could just plop into a build, right? That's the point of the rooms, guys. And that's why I do put some of that stuff up on the gallery and do that and create these rooms so you can plop them in. I have a few that are like bedrooms that I actually did put into this build. And I grabbed some other stuff from the gallery, like other rooms, and filled this in on my one world. So I will say, if I upload that world to the gallery i'm gonna go through and redo some of that so that's why it, it'll be a few months i don't want to take anybody else's work and upload it as my own especially since like here i really didn't change a whole lot most of what i changed was maybe like empty space in the room because i made it bigger so but it works. If you're just looking to put, you know, an apartment together, grab rooms off the gallery and just throw them together and, you know, figure out how to connect them. I, that would be my best. If you're not a builder or a decorator and you just want to play, but don't necessarily like what is out there for, you know, apartments or even a home you can do this with and just, you know, put the rooms in. Hmm. It, it takes a few little tricks and tips, but but it's not too difficult to do. The one thing I would say is if you went to do that with this build is probably move or take out like the windows and the doors that are in these rooms and then put them back in if you need to. So that would be my main advice. So you can see here, I'm working on the toddler room and the child's room. For this family, I pictured two toddler girls and either a girl or a boy for the other room. I, I made that kind of a gender neutral in my mind. And really, what... What I like with these rooms is, you know, I, I like that you, know, you have these two little toddler beds. Yes, twins is what I was picturing when I put this family into my head. I did fill this and I could not find a sim family on the gallery that had two twin girls and then an older child. And I really didn't want to go through and, like, make my own. I wanted to pull off the gallery. Um, but I'm like, you know what? They have room to grow. So I found one. I think there's a toddler and a child. So, you know, they have room to grow. Not that I'm going to be paying much attention to them. I just wanted to fill some people into this, into this area. And I did the same when Floor Rent came out. I went through and I put my builds that I did into the world to play a little bit with Floor Rent. And I went on the gallery and filled up all the buildings with as many as I could that were kind of like the right nationality for that world. Because I wanted to play it as, you know, I was somebody who moved to that island and you know so there's more more people there that were native to the area than not but i found it kind of fun it's nice to immerse yourself as much as you can into the different worlds now that being said we all know that you know celebrities just wander everywhere but i mean when you look at it realistically Celebrities do 
go a lot of different places. <laughs> so it's not completely, you know, crazy that they aren't just stuck in. Oh, I just blanked on the world name, but, you know, I'm in their own little world. But there is a mod. I think it's done by Carl, who does the Dine Out mod I've talked about. That lets you kind of set where they can spawn and where they can't. Various things. I've been playing with that a little bit. And that's helped a little. If I remember when I post this, I'll link to that. Or at least put the name of it down below. I know YouTube isn't liking links to things lately. So. So we'll see how that goes. But if I forget and you really want that information, let me know in the comments. I do read my comments. I try to get on within a couple hours of the video just to see if anybody's commented to, re you know, respond to you guys. So don't be afraid to leave a comment. All right. So as you can see, I kind of designed this as like a gamer kid room and I love it. I've been doing the gamer thing. I actually do a gamer room later on in this build for an adult. That was fun. But what I what I was thinking here is I wanted this to be kind of a funky family. Maybe this is one that moved to the island and so they're not quite embracing the island lifestyle, but they're still a little funky. So that's kind of where I went with this. They have some city, you know, city vibes with the, you know, the curtains and, you know, just kind of a fun, you know, family thing going on. Um, I do... I do go through quite a bit trying to figure out how to clutter this up and still keep it like, I don't know, not crazy. Because again, in my mind with this, it's an apartment that the Sims moved into. It wasn't decorated for them. They brought in their own stuff. And I did this with all the apartments. So you will see that their furniture may not match the wall color. Now, you saw in the bedrooms, they decided to paint the kids' rooms, okay? They got permission to do that. <laughs> but that is, that's what I'm going with. So you'll see here that, you know, they have items that match, but it may not match what's in the uh, apartment itself. So... I did put in that fun little dollhouse thing and the high chairs for the toddlers. And really, it was this point that I realized that these apartments were actually a decent size. I didn't think about that before then. And that's when I'm like, oh, yeah, they're bigger than I like mentally thought. And I need better artwork. So you can see I jumped in and I actually saved that artwork. To my own gallery but I think there's a couple other times I might jump into the gallery I think I cut some of it out if not most of it and download artwork and that's another tip if you are a builder or trying to build and you're just tired of all the artwork that is in the game get on the gallery because that can be downloaded by anybody um at least so far that I haven't had any issues. So it's not custom content usually, at least not in that way. So it works pretty well to just give yourself something extra to, to have in the game. Especially if you only have like base game or, or a few packs. It gives you a little more options and that's nice. So you can see here I decided against that sofa. I don't know, it just didn't work with me, so I decided to use the matching sofa for the table. 
But you could see, I was like, maybe not. And yeah, then I decided, okay. <laughs> and I like it. it. It fits the fun, funky family vibe. And the other thing is I didn't try to clutter these up too much because, as you know, in order to move into these, you have to be able to afford it. Now, that being said, when I filled these in my own save file, free real estate was on because no. <laughs> not when I'm not planning on moving in. Now, you know, if I was moving one of my own in, no, that, that wouldn't be how I do it. But now at one point, yes, I used to do all the cheats. I did do a little bit for my current gameplay just because of what I'm doing with it. But, yeah, I decided not to, not to do that as much as I used to anymore. And it makes the game more interesting. So if you're somebody who always uses Motherload for all your games so that your Sims can have, like, their best life to start out with and you're bored, stop using Motherload. Do a rags to riches. I think that inspired me so much to getting into this game again and building more and doing all this. So that, that might be an idea if you're somebody like I used to be and my Sims had to have it all right away. <laughs> all right. So here I wanted kind of a more oasis type feeling room just to Casual thing, a little bit of funkiness still, not anything too crazy, but this is the parents' retreat away from the crazy children they have, okay? That's where I went with that. And I like this room. I think it's really just a nice, calming space. I did struggle with the rug. I did cut out most of me struggling with the rug. <laughs> So what you're seeing here, <laughs> it probably took me like eight more rugs to figure out or something. But it was crazy. I ended up hitting pause on the recording because <laughs> I'm like, I'm not showing all this. <laughs> but when I found it, I, I unpaused and redid it so you guys could see my final decision. All right, so now we've moved on to... The second one that I am decorating, which is above the community spaces. So this is above the gym and that kind of gathering, indoor gathering space. What I wanted here was maybe a retired couple. They have moved to the island, I don't know, just because they want to. And so it's just two people and they have a guest room. So it is their main bedroom and then a guest room is how I decorated this. And they have, you know, their own furniture they brought in and their, their handmade rug. And yeah. I do have to say, I want more things that are that rug's color in this game. Because I saw that color and I went, that's my accent color. And then I couldn't find anything. <laughs> the rug stayed. I ended up finding these curtains that kind of went with it from Cats and Dogs. And I might have found a couple other things that kind of worked with it. I end up using that rug again in another little area that I created because there weren't any other options. And I just, I, we need more that has that color. Okay. Sims team. I know I can get it with CC. And if I move somebody important into this, I will probably redo a few things with some CC. I <laughs> So, and for those of you who don't know, CC is custom content. If you are on a PC, you can use custom content. If you are not, unfortunately, you can't. 
which is why I don't do builds that have CC in them at this time. I am still planning on doing a build a month maybe that does. I don't want to go crazy because there are a lot of people that can't use it. And it seems that a lot of you, my followers here, my subscribers, that I love very much because you put up with my random rambling. <laughs> you guys don't seem to be too into CC, so I'm okay with that. But I do want to do a couple. Mostly just to showcase some cool ones I found. One I might do next month is it's a nestle kit that somebody in a facebook group did and it's recoloring of the castle stuff and i thought that would be fun i'm something small it's not going to be a big build but i just thought it'd be fun to play with and it would just have you know that pack would be what the cc is so if you have the castle estate kit it should just transfer into a regular you know, castle for you if you wanted to download it. I'm not sure if a castle is what I really want to build, but because that, you know, small. I'm going small. So, so that might happen here in the next few weeks. Don't be surprised if you see that. But, you know, little things like that. If, if I do custom content builds, I think I'm going to stick with either really small ones or they're going to be like really large 64 by 64 lots i do want to say i have started the i think we're calling it the fantasy village build and i just uploaded today of recording today a shell for the village so you guys can get a sneak peek of kind of what that looks like I would also love if you guys downloaded it and worked with it yourselves in any way. It doesn't have to be a fantasy village. You know, share it with me. I have a hashtag that is on the description for that lot on the gallery. I believe it's Building Sims YT Shell. I just, like, can't remember version what I put but I'll have that, you know, down below too. Or I'm going to share it on my Instagram later today. So you may have already seen that. If you don't follow me on Instagram or threads, I am Building Sims YT. I also have a Facebook page, but I don't, I mean, I post to it, but nothing really is going on there. <laughs> Instagram seems to be where it's at. But anyway, here, as I said, there, you know, two elders that live here. So I wanted to kind of, I don't know, give it, I don't want to say an old vibe because that's not what I'm at, what, what, you know, I'm after, but they have antiques. They have things that maybe were handed down to them by their parents. That's that's the vibe I'm going for here. So I thought this bed with the quilt on it was just really cool to express that. Now, I'm going to say I have a couple of friends that do quilting and they have quilts all over their beds and they're in their 30s and 40s. Okay. So it's not in, you know, like I said, that's why I didn't want to say, you know, it's designed for old people, but it, it's it's designed as they've had this for a long time, kept it in good shape. You know, maybe they made the quilt or their, you know, mother made the quilt on it. That's, that's the story that I have, and I'm sticking to it, okay? So... I also didn't go through and clutter these up too much for another reason. Mostly because I want you guys to be able to move into these if you move into the furnished ones and make them your own a little bit too. So I think I made them look good, <laughs> but 
I didn't go too crazy and I don't on a lot of my builds. The Fantasy Village, that one is going to be a cluttered mess and don't expect to see that anytime soon. I am going to take months to work on that. I will say there is a waterfall in that build. It's it's in the, the shell, so you'll see that anyway. And that alone took me five hours just to get that. And in the shell, I don't even have plants. Like, I have a few plants, but I didn't even put, like, all the plants around it. I'm going to do any of that. So, so yeah. I did that first because if I couldn't do that, it was going to change the entire layout and look of the village. <laughs> So I really wanted to tackle that first. And then I did get like putting up like approximately where the buildings are going to go and what they're going to look like. As I said, they're shells. So pretty much right now they're just, you know, blocks, squares to an extent. There's a couple that aren't quite squares, but I am also with that planning on doing all the occults. That's what's going to go in there. So each home is going to be its own occult. So that's the way I'm going to go about that one. If you guys maybe, you know, maybe one next year or end of, toward the end of this year, I might do another one that's more like, I don't know, medieval fantasy or something. <laughs> Can use the castle pack. That was an idea. And I might use that shell because that's that was my thought is that's kind of a, a cool little shell. So definitely check it out if you guys are interested in building a little village of your own. All right. So here I'm working on the bachelor apartment. So they have a little bar here. They have, you know, kind of not crappy furniture, but, you know. Not the best furniture, <laughs> at least looks wise. And it's supposed to feel like kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. If you don't know what hodgepodge means, it's a it's an older word, pretty much meaning a bunch of different things. I have a fun vocabulary. My mother was a teacher, my father was a teacher, my uncle was a teacher. <laughs> I wanted to be a teacher, which is why I'm thinking, you know, well, planning on starting this history YouTube channel I want to do. That's what I wanted to teach was history. My father went to school and got a master's degree to teach history. Unfortunately, he graduated about the time they were laying off a bunch of teachers. So every teacher I knew at the time I graduated high school talked me out of going to school for that so I'm like well fine I'll just create a YouTube channel now because I have that option I have research skills guys that that's what you need you need the research skills and I did go to college and learn those official skills so but you don't have to go to college to know how to research there's so much information on the internet now the internet was young when, when I graduated high school. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I, I'm not in my 20s or even 30s now anymore. Okay, guys. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm 41. Uh, I think I've mentioned it before in my videos. So I'm not, I'm not young. Um, but just somebody who has played The Sims since SimCity in the 90s. All right, so here is the gaming room. I know I wasn't talking about any of these rooms, but hopefully you're listening and watching. Um, this one's the second gaming room, for more for an adult. The other room I did was really more for, like, they're a woodworker. They like to work with their hands. I'm not sure why they're on a... <laughs> I didn't get that far. I just went three bachelors. That's what I'm throwing in here. I've been doing that a lot lately. Three bachelors. I don't know why. 
But that seems to be my thing lately. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Because, like, even in my gameplay right now, like, the main legacy character that I'm growing up right now is a toddler. Like, just became a toddler. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> and I did. I put three bachelors in this apartment. Yeah, just something. I think, like I said, filling the world and trying to get an idea of who I would build this for. They're my clients, okay? Ah. Uh, but I think this definitely kind of screams like young bachelor apartment. I mean, even young people apartment. It works. And I love it. So... That is all I built on this. And I hope you enjoyed spending the last 50 minutes <laughs> and listening to my rambling. I am going to let you guys kind of take a look at the interiors, the exteriors of this build. And you can see even through the windows of the apartments I didn't do. I don't show those. Don't worry about it. And I will be right back. guys and that is the finished build as i was looking through those pictures just now i realized there was a couple things i forgot to mention one yes i am aware that some of the curtains do not reach the floor these windows are hard to find curtains and to the kitchen area the corner cupboard is i believe from the like a kitchen stuff pack it's not the most recent one so if you don't have that that might disappear but hopefully it's replaced with something that looks good. But I've been using that one and it works really well. All right, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed watching this build and spending the last almost hour with me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now. <laughs>